Hello, and welcome to this exciting video about unknown and weird facts about South Korea. South Korea is a land of rich culture, breathtaking landscapes, and technological innovation. In this video, we'll be exploring some of the most fascinating and weird facts about the sea station country. So sit back, relax, and get ready to discover some incredible facts about South Korea that you may not have known before. Let's get started. Number 1. South Koreans are one year old when they are born. In South Korea, there is a traditional method of age reckoning called Korean age or East Asian age reckoning. According to this system, individuals are considered to be one year old at birth and gain an additional year on New Year's Day, regardless of the actual date of their birth. For example, if a person was born on December 1, 2022, they would be considered one year old in Korean on January 1, 2023. This is because they have already lived through one calendar year, according to the Korean age reckoning system. However, for official purposes and legal matters, such as education, voting, and driving, the internationally recognized Gregorian calendar is used to determine a person's age. Number 2. Both men and women are obsessed with makeup. Makeup is easy to fall in love with, it's a ton of fun experimenting with different makeup styles and transforming your face for special events. It's common knowledge that South Korea is one of the makeup capitals of the world. What's less well known is that men and women alike wear makeup in South Korea, there is no stigma about men wearing makeup, so some men wear significantly more makeup than women here. Everybody wants to put their best face forward, and makeup plays a big part in that. Number 3. Plastic surgery is super normal. While most Western countries consider plastic surgery to be taboo at best and frowned upon at worst, South Korea has fully embraced plastic surgery to the point that it is very accepted and even encouraged. It's not uncommon for South Korean teenagers to get plastic surgery before they enter university. They don't have to worry about seeking parental approval because their parents often encourage it and pay for it. Plastic surgery is also much more affordable in South Korea than in other countries, making it more accessible. Number 4. Shops remain open longer than restaurants and cafes. South Koreans are crazy about shopping, and it is something of a national pastime. A testimony to this is the fact that the country has some of the largest shopping malls in the world. This also explains why bars, cafes, and restaurants in South Korea close by 11 p.m., whereas shops and stores stay open until 4 a.m. for the convenience of die-hard shopaholics. Number 5. South Koreans fear the number 4. In the Western world, they believe that 13 is an unlucky number, but in South Korea, it's the number 4. If you visit South Korea, you will note that the number 4 is uncommon because it sounds like the term for death. If you enter a multiple-story building, you might notice there is no fourth floor written on the elevator buttons. Instead, the floor may be written F to avoid using the number directly. Number 6. Blood Matters While most people will ask about jobs, birthplace, or hobbies when first meeting someone, in Korea, don't be surprised if you are asked your blood type. There is a popular belief that a person's blood type is associated with their personality traits, temperament, and compatibility with others. Number 7. Taekwondo is South Korea's contribution to the Olympic Games. Taekwondo is a roughly 2,000-year-old martial art that originated in South Korea and is still the country's most popular sport. In 2002, Taekwondo was officially adopted and recognized as an Olympic sport. This martial art form is believed to have come about because of an ancient Korean warrior who developed a weapon-free style of combat using his bare hands and feet. Hence the name Taekwondo, which translated literally means way of the fist and foot. Number 8. The Buryong Mud Festival Did you know that South Korea has a unique festival dedicated to mud? Yes, you heard it right. The Buryong Mud Festival is an annual event held in Buryong where people from around the world come together to play in the mud. From mud wrestling to mud slides, this festival is all about having fun while getting dirty. 
Number 9. Guangzhou Market's Food Alley. This fact might leave you craving some food. Did you know that South Korea has an entire street dedicated to delicious dishes? Welcome to Guangzhou Market's Food Alley. This culinary paradise is packed with food stalls offering traditional Korean street food, such as bibimbap, tteokbokki, and gimbap. It's a must-visit spot for any food lover.